there comes a giant fish! Damn it, no! So as you guys know, I've been waiting for this vehicle for a very, very long time. This is Losat, and it fires kinetic energy missiles. Basically, a giant metal rod with a solid rocket booster. Now, Gaijin doesn't have a great track record when it comes to modeling US Cold War prototypes. But when we first got a look at this thing, I thought it looked pretty good. You know, they got the sight right, they seem to get the pen right. In practice, that is not the case. As you guys have probably seen already, the missiles seem to wiggle at long range. And at close range, they seem to either arc up over the target or plant themselves into the ground. So yeah, let's take it out and despite everything, try to have some fun. Oddly enough, I found the most success playing this like a gremlin vehicle and just like... Looney Tunes smacking people at close range. <laughs> like, especially if they come around a corner and you just wait for them to do so. It is very comical and probably the only satisfaction you'll get from playing this. <laughs> oh. It's just so much fun smacking people with a giant kinetic missile, which technically I shouldn't have been able to do, but don't tell Gaijin about that because it's the one thing making this vehicle like somewhat fun to play. If you're wondering how I can say this is the worst vehicle in the game while cackling like an idiot when I kill somebody, it's because yes, it's very gratifying to finally get a kill with it. And um, is the train going to stop this? Okay, that... Okay, nope, hit the dirt. Um... Nope. This is... Okay, there we go. Yeah, you have to be staring right at the enemy or you can't hit. Um, what was I saying? Basically, I viewed this in the same light as the Sturm Tiger, where it's not a viable vehicle. Like, I wouldn't try to do well in this, but... It is immensely satisfying when you actually do kill something. Now is my time to shine. <laughs> Never should have come here. Yeah, buddy, that thing's already dead. Uh, good effort, though. Please don't notice me. Thank you. I will say it's nice having a US ground vehicle that doesn't rely on toes because toes are even worse somehow. Oh, yep. Did you see that? It got stopped by the fence. <laughs> I do have a singular helicopter kill with this, but I'm not quite sure how, because I fired two missiles at a Z9. Pretty sure both of them missed, but a few minutes later I got the kill for it, so. And you're probably thinking, well, at least it gets a 50 cal, right? Yep, but it gets no elevation. <laughs> so... Against a heli rusher, you're not very helpful. I do hear a wheeled vehicle over here. Um, can I sneak up on him? <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Yeah, I think that like three kills is the best I'm going to do with this, so. Just sit back and enjoy the funny missile, I guess. Do you guys even care if I get, like, high kill games or not? Or are you just here for the vibe? I'm surprised we haven't seen another low set yet. I was seeing them a lot last night. But I think people have figured out that this is not very good. <laughs> so there's really no point bringing it if you're not a content creator or if you aren't mentally insane. I don't know what lies beyond this smoke, but it might end up getting me killed. Okay, I'm, that's a building. That's what lies beyond the smoke. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't settle, it just, the missile flies over their heads. Okay, we hit him. He's on fire. That's something. I feel like um, someone else is probably going to kill him first, though. Well, that's something, at least. I do wish that they let you fire this on the move. I feel like that would go a long way towards helping it in CQC. Because if someone comes around a corner at you, you have to stop moving, wait for it to settle first, and then fire. Which, when you're fighting things with stabilizers, obviously you're gonna die. <laughs> and I don't get why they don't let you fire this on the move. It's a laser beam rider 
with a stabilized sight, ostensibly. So, you know, BMP-2M can fire on the move. It has the same type of missile. What the hell? No way! The damage on this is a little wonky sometimes. I feel like if you get hit by this center mass, you should just die, no matter what. When I first got this, I got pretty frustrated trying to get this to work. But I think it broke me because I am just incapable of feeling anger anymore. <laughs> we gotta go. We must be aggressive. Too aggressive, I think. Too aggressive. Uh. We we got him eventually. <laughs> we just had to <laughs> fire half of our missiles. I really, really wish they separated these into two pods. And that way, when you run out of missiles, you wouldn't have to spend two minutes replenishing all the missiles. Yeah, when you go to replenish, you have to fire all of your missiles, and it takes like two minutes to get them back. I do have some hope for the future because there is a vehicle they could add with low sat that would be pretty good, I feel, in most circumstances. It's the uh, XM-1071 low sat carrier, which is based on the Bradley and has an M901 style elevating launcher with four low sats on it. And it gets like 16 more in the hull, I think. Okay, we finally got him. The the telephone pole. Why? Oh my goodness. It's a it's a kinetic energy missile. It shouldn't be exploding like that. Okay, it's it's time to leave. Oh, there's even more bad guys around me, I think. How on earth did we kill that guy? I don't even have a turret reverse. One eternity later. Yeah, this is how you're supposed to play this. Which is quite boring. Ooh. Yeah, I got you, Striker. Don't even sweat about it. Yep, just waiting for targets to appear. I've got goblin brain, man. I can't... I'm not built for tank destroyer stuff. <laughs> oh, we top attacked him. And by top attack, I mean that we skimmed his turret with the round and the shrapnel killed his commander. Or gunner. Whatever. He only had one guy left in the turret, so he's both the commander and the gunner. Uh... Awesome. Really awesome. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, can we 50 cal the AFT? I sure hope so. That would appear to be a yes. Yes. Ooh. I hate these missiles so much. <laughs> there we go. I, I love them and I hate them. <laughs> if that makes sense. I love them when they work, and I hate them when they don't. Which is, uh, very, very often. This is gonna get me killed. 100%. Hi. He killed his own teammate. That was Cavi. <laughs> yeah, that's- I- I'm sure that was worth it, man. Good job. Normally with these videos, I don't cut games. But I am not ashamed to admit that I'm going to cut many many games in this video because it's not very fun watching me just get collapsed repeatedly by stabilized tanks well hello <laughs> goodbye i do kind of wish that the hit effects for this were a little more dramatic but what can you do uh, <laughs> i feel like in 99.9 .9 .9 of scenarios in this game you're better off just using a main cannon because, yes, this is a very powerful kinetic round, but it's just so incredibly niche. 
Like, you don't have to guide a normal AP of SDS round. You can just lead and fire. And you can do snapshots, which can't really do with this. You know the, uh, soy pointing meme? That's what I imagine when people see me in a new vehicle and machine gun me. Oh my goodness, these missiles. <laughs> Rapidly starting to lose my enthusiasm. Ooh, Vidar. Surely. Okay, I have to aim up, I guess. I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> I got you. Oh no, so you didn't shoot you on that bike! No! I tried. I really tried. Ah. Oh. I am very surprised that worked. I thought for sure it would like eat the dirt or something. It, it's still a bit silly that it takes three low sat missiles to kill something as light as the Rad Kampfwagen. Go on, keep driving. Go on. You fool. You should not have trusted me. I really don't understand how this is a higher BR than the BMP2M. Or the Chrysanthema. Like, the BMP-2M gets missiles that are about as effective, I would say. And it also gets an autocannon. And it isn't limited by terrain. And the missiles are actually very controllable. Don't tell me that's a panther. It was. It was a VK. What? <laughs> okay. At least the second one got him. How do you ricochet a missile that big? I really wish I could stop getting Ardennes over and over again. And that's half of my ammo gun. Is that a friendly turbine I'm hearing? No, it is not. No, it absolutely is not. Thank goodness. Overall, I think if they kept it as it is and let it fire on the move, it'd be okay. As far as the missiles hitting at long range, I think giving it auto track would go a long way. It did have that. It did have FLIR auto track. And I know that's a slippery slope as far as uh, using FLIR against ground targets goes, but... The Chrysanthema has auto track. So maybe if they just kept it to ATGM vehicles. Are you serious? Please hurry up and reload the missiles. Please hurry. Thank God. Thank you for not smacking into the ground, Losat. I'm reaching that critical point where it's getting too hot in my room for me to play the game. NVIDIA 4090 exhaust be like plasma. Ooh, hello. Dog, what? How did it bounce off of his turret? What? Yep, that makes sense to me. Okay, so it's a day later and I'm recording again because allegedly the tracking on the missiles has been fixed at long range, but I don't know if I entirely buy into that, so I figured I would test it now instead of making an entirely new video like a month later. I have tested it a bit, and I feel like the tracking is a little bit better, but it seems like if you're on even a slight incline still, the missile just goes wonky trying to overcorrect for that initial offset, if that makes sense. Okay, I'm on completely level ground, and that hit! but it was a little bit low, which seems to be a theme. Um, did that guy just take 
a hit from a stinger, and he's still alive. Okay, yeah. It's crazy he didn't die until then. Ooh. Yep. That's another thing. The missile can't decide if it wants to go up or down when it comes out of the tube. It depends entirely if you're on a one degree incline or decline. Okay, yeah, the missile still wobbles a little bit, but it's not too bad. And I feel it doesn't do as much damage as it should. Ooh, hello. So yeah, that's low sat. I would not consider it a viable vehicle 90% of the time. If you want something that you play just for fun because it's wacky, then go for it. But as far as like taking it as part of your lineup, I would say it's not worth it. There are some things they can do to make it more viable, like I said, but I think to have a truly great low sat carrier, we'll have to wait until the XM1071. So yeah, if you guys have suggestions for video topics, leave them in the comments, and I'll see you on the next one.